My name is Mel. I'm 11 years old. I go to Christ the King School in Edmonton, Alberta. An Edmonton Catholic school under fire after a black child was allegedly told to remove his do-rag due to gang affiliation. This all started with me going to school wearing my do-rag. The principal stopped me and told me to come to her office. I went to her office. She told me to take it off. I said no and why. She sent me to the constable's office. The constable told me that it was gang affiliated. I called my mom. My mom said, why is he saying this? It's discriminative. My mom told me to take it off for the day and we'll deal with it tomorrow. His mother met with the school's principal. Things escalated when the mother said the principal hit the panic button. The mother was banned from the school for her conduct. School officials tell City News the conversation and conduct of the mother quickly escalated and police were called. Meeting with the principal, the principal tried to control my mom. She was trying to bully her, telling her to quiet down. My mom wasn't being loud at all. She called the cops. My mom waited for the cop. She was talking to the cop. The cop wasn't listening. He said that she was calling him discriminative, but she was talking about the constable. And he said that racism wasn't a real thing. The school banned my mom for one year, so she can't drop me to school. Since this happened, I haven't been able to go to school. I haven't been seeing my friends. I haven't been learning, which every kid should do. The mother says she recorded the entire meeting and the audio recording that was provided to City News paints another picture of how the meeting went. You don't see an 11 year old boy and ask him, are you affiliated with your gang because of her hair garment? That's not a question there that are, you ask. There are children a child. that age that are part of gangs. City News listened to the entire recording. At no point did we hear any threats or screams from the mother. Instead, you hear the principal repeating the assumption that do-rags represent gang activity. Racial profiling is dangerous because when you racially profile someone, they could turn into what you're saying. They could think, oh, I am that. What they're saying is true, and they'll turn into that. And people will look at you different. Like, let's say if a cop is racially profiling you, they will be more likely to arrest you and people that look like you. If a principal is racially profiling, they're going to see you as you can't succeed, you can't learn. The do-rag is significant to black people because it started off as slavery. They used to tell women to wear it because they weren't good enough, their hair wasn't good enough. Then black people turned that around. Now they use it for waves, braids. They use it for style even. I do not think do-rags equal gangs because gangsters do wear do, do, wear do rags, but they also eat food. They also drink water. They do half of the things everybody does. Instead of spending the night doing homework, Emil Somerville and his mother are standing out front of the Catholic school board building joined by dozens of supporters. When I saw so many people at the rally, I felt great that people actually want to help and support the situation. I hope things will play out like maybe me getting in a different school, a rule change, or they could unban my mom even. I just want to be in school. In order for this not to happen again, I think that people need to learn more about other cultures. I think people need to be more diverse and not judge people because of their race. We are still fighting and I think that everyone could do better.